Fatherland is uh, an MMO VRG. Uh, the game is based on a series of novels by the author Tad Williams, and the game takes place in the virtual worlds called Overland. Uh, and in the game, we we go inside Overland, it's a virtual world inside a virtual world, if you like. It's a virtual environment created by designers living a hundred years into the future. Overland is kind of a huge world, huge cyber uh, network. Uh, the game takes elements from the book, adapts them for the game, and turns them into a wholly new experience. It's a collage of uh, all kinds of ideas, and it's a very free and open game. This is a very, very uh, special project for me and a very, very exciting project for me. It's, uh, it's not every day um, that, you know, we have the chance to uh, found a new studio and especially one in uh, such an exciting place as uh, Singapore in the middle of uh, Asia. Um, and it also uh, gave me the opportunity to, uh, you know, put back together a team that uh, did some fantastic work. We've collected up a number of people from all over the world. We have probably one of the most international teams I've ever worked with, coming from 20 different countries. What we've been trying to do is bring those skills from console game background into an MMO and give players something that's a little bit more immediate, more, more fast-paced to play, but at the same time has the scope and the range of an MMO. The whole reason for this company existing is we want to go somewhere very different. Um, we all like online games, but I find it quite frustrating sometimes how, how uh, people's conceptions and ideas are so railed just you know because most MMOs are into this direction. One of the things we want to do in building Otherland uh, is to apply the knowledge we have in offline games and uh, you know the production skills and production values of, of the very best of on offline games uh, into an online game like uh, Otherland. The multiverse itself is one of the most exciting things to me on Otherland because of the fact that it allows me and the rest of my team to explore options that aren't typically available in a standard MMO. You're usually stuck with one genre and you can start moving outside of those boundaries. I can't think of any other MMO that has actually allowed you to move between multiple genres of gameplay. So Otherland has, has a very rich and compelling uh, story. It's a fantastic universe and we've used that as, as the basis on which to build the game. But uh, as it's a game, we don't want to tell the story of Otherland uh, as in the books. Rather, we have a story which is, you know, different from the perspective of players. And uh, we've interwoven in that some of the key elements of the story and characters uh, of other land. We do concept sketches, we put them in front of Tad. Tad has some feedback, uh, how he'd like it to go, what it, is it his image, does it fit the game? So it's a really good to and fro kind of relationship because he understands we're making a game. We understand we're trying to realise his book and so together we work towards what's great for the game using the book as inspiration. Once they play Otherland, I'm hoping that they start questioning their own reality. Uh, there were some movies a while back that uh, presented the idea that maybe the world we live in isn't really the world we live in. This idea here is what I'm looking for, which is maybe the world that you live in is more than you actually thought it was. So everything kind of on the surface looks real, but you look a little bit deeper and you'll see the virtual nature of every world. You know, I'm a gamer and uh, I'm looking forward to Otherland a great deal. I think uh, uh, other gamers out there should look forward to it because it's going to be f***ing cool.